Well, hello, Sash. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe. All right, Sash, we're going to go ahead and get right into your reading and see what we have for you today. Let's see what we got. Okay, first one I have Hermit. You know what? Your Hermit came out with you guys yesterday. What is going on? Like, what's what's happening? <laughs> Um, so I think, you know, you guys are just meditating, contemplating. I think I said yesterday, you guys kind of want your space. Um, this is just you being in a hermit mode. You're just thinking. You're, you you feel comfortable when you can think. It's not that you want to be by yourself, but I feel like right now you just have a lot on your mind. So it's just good for you just to be in a, I'm not going to say isolated state, but just, just to be alone, just to get your thoughts together. Because I think I said it before that you guys have a lot happening. Here at the Queen of Pentacles, you guys are, you know, working on your money. You're trying to find stability in your life. And that, you know, however that works, that's how it works. I do feel like there is going to be something, a new passion, something that you guys are going to be doing really soon that's going to be exciting. Um, but yeah, I just think you're focusing on yourself, trying to get grounded, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and let's get some more. One more for this row for Sag. Thank you. Okay, I got two. That's okay. So here I have the two of pentacles and I have the seven of seven of cups. So I do feel like, yeah, see what I was saying? Like you guys feel like there's something that you want to do. You're going to have so many opportunities, right? You've dealt with people before who's been juggling you and all that other stuff. But this is not about them. This is about you. So I do feel like you guys are trying to weigh your options. There's something that you want to do, whether it's dealing with your ambitious, your goals, your career, or a person. Okay, it could be juggling people because you have a lot of options, right? Here with this Eight of Cups, I feel like you guys have been feeling so unsatisfied. Like there is this something missing inside of you. Um, you guys have just been feeling so unsatisfied. You you need to you need this satisfying feeling. Maybe you're thinking about someone. Maybe there's someone in particular that may be on your mind. But um, yeah, I do feel like it's you're, you're trying to figure out what you want to do as far as your dating options. Is what I'm thinking. Okay, got two here to fill out. Here with the emperor. Yeah, your person is in your reading. Six of Wands, very victorious when it comes down to your decision. So whatever decision you make, it's going to be a success. I love it. Here with the Page of Pentacles, a lot of opportunities here. I'm telling you, work in when it comes down to relationships or connections. So at the bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Wands. Burdens being put down because you've been, you've been holding on to them too long. Okay. This is mental and emotional burdens. Some of you financial, okay? So you guys are finding inspiration and in things to get you moving. Like I said, you're worried more so about yourself. I do feel like you guys have these weird codependencies though. I don't know. It could be a codependency on a person or you like to think, <laughs> something like that. But what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and um, I'm gonna clarify these cards and see what's going on with you. feel like you may be holding on to, to something that you may need to release. Some of you guys are dealing with earth signs. That's what I'm feeling. I do feel like there is someone new here. Could be someone from the past too, but I feel like there's someone new. But you have options, so it doesn't even really matter at this point. It's going to be up to you who you choose to talk to. Let's get the hermit. With the hermit, I mean, so even though you're thinking, you're moving forward, this is also talking about maybe someone is thinking about you, you, and they're trying to figure out how they're going to make your move. Um, here with the Ten of Cups at the bottom, wherever you're going, this is going to be happiness here. I love it. This is going to be a lot of happiness. So this contemplation is going to lead to some very beautiful things. Okay. Queen of Pentacles right next to it is stability. So that's good. Let's go ahead and get her. Let's get Queen of Pentacles. Wow, that came out fast. Yep. Will of Fortune. Money is going to be nice. I feel commitment. I feel not necessarily commitment as, as if like marriage. I feel more so like someone who has money, you and your person um, ha have goals, ambitions. Um, and I feel like you guys are going to connect really well. Um, and it could be a long-term relationship, but 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like I felt wedding, wedding bells for you guys before, but I think with this one, you're just trying to slow down a little bit. Like you just want things to flow. And when it works, when things work, they work. And I feel a little, you know, control issues. Feel like, you know, you guys are a little stubborn. A little control issues a little bit too, I'm feeling with you guys. Let's get some two of pentacles. So here with the two of pentacles, someone is trying to debate if they want to re reunite with you or not. Or you guys are going to try to debate if that's something you want to do. Because remember, we we're talking about someone is dealing with more than one person. You guys are trying to open up your options. But there's someone that's coming in from your past is what I'm feeling. And you're trying to figure out, do I want to reunite? Do I want to deal with them? I don't know. Okay. Let's get the seven of cups. But I feel like no matter how many options you have, there are some things that you guys are still holding on to. Like, who are you guys fooling? Yeah, you guys look good. You got people that's wanting you and everything. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like you're still thinking about someone very heavily. Yeah. You guys are going to entertain new options, but I feel like you may have to, you know, release the past. And, you know, you're doing it slowly. Yeah, but I feel like that may be something you may have to release. But some of you guys are still holding on to that. Let's go ahead and get the Eight of Cups. I mean, you really weren't feeling the way you wanted to feel anyway in that connection. You know, a, you, you, you were internally conflicted because the person wasn't necessarily paying you not attention, but they weren't giving you what you really wanted. Like they were just not attentive the way you wanted them to be attentive. They weren't giving you the recognition or the attention. Let's get the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. See, now you're going to move into a direction where there's going to be more like celebratory. Um, I do feel like you're going to, you know, go into a direction where someone can be, you know, more attentive. Um, I feel a little energy for someone from your past, but yeah, I feel like maybe that past person for some of you are coming back in. Let's get the emperor. Let's get three for the emperor. Yeah, I knew it. I just said it. Man, I knew it. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm not, my instincts, I'm telling you, it, I'd be, it'd be on point. This person, some of you guys are dealing with someone from the past. And there is a lot of conflict here. See, remember... This was talking about ending. Something ended with them. They were very control freaks, things of that nature. They were dealing with other people, other lovers. See? And, you know, they want to come back in for a few of you. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Knight of Swords. Um, for others, I just feel like this is you guys taking control over your life and just walking away. Okay. But right here, I got stuck because I felt their energy. And I'm like, I'm not really feeling them, but I am. Yeah, so for a few, there's been some change in their personality, change in them, but um, I do feel like some of you guys are going to experience this person coming back. But for the most part, I think your person, they just left, you know, and they are going to be, you know, you're going to have new options in your life to deal, you know, deal with other people. Let's go ahead and get the six of wands. Remember, we were talking about attention here, too. Here with the Six of Wands, I'm seeing um, Eight of Wands, communication, busyness. Someone has been thinking about you here with the Seven of Pentacles. And also, this is going to be something that you really want. So this could be with someone new um, that's thinking about you. This is, you know, talking about, you know, meeting someone at, um, you know, at some type of celebration some wedding or graduation or baby shower, <laughs> something like that. But I do feel like for, for, again, for some of you, this is talking about reuniting with someone who hurt you. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and get the page of pentacles. A lot of regret here, a lot of regret and a lot of sadness. Yeah, and secrets. You guys have not been talking. So this Page of Pentacles is talking about communication here, okay? And see here, both of these are secrets. Just this person keeps a lot of stuff to themselves. And then again here, I'm seeing a lot of sad energy. This is why I say you guys are going to have to let certain things go. There's a lot of heartbreak here. But, you know, some of you guys are just going to have to let it go. You're going to have to be strong and stay on your ground, right? 
it's been a burden, but I feel like you guys have other options. So, you know, focus on that. Um, there is going to be something really good that's going to be coming towards you. But Sash, this is what I have for you today. Nothing very adventurous. I mean, nothing, you know, eventful, I guess. I just feel like more than anything, this is your emotions trying to get over some things and meeting new people could be a little scary. So, but Sash, this is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I love you guys. Um, I'm not sure if I said it. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye.